All right, today I'm trying to explain this question to one of my students and I decided to share to the YouTube so that can benefit other students as well. Because this question is a bit crazy. Uh, it's under the geometry distribution. And I even Googled it <laughs> to uh, online and yeah, I couldn't find much more information and I myself do a little bit experiment on it. And eventually I sort of got the answer they want. All right, so the first thing is probability x1 plus probability x2 equals to 3 they ask us to show is actually equals to uh, p square q so the first idea is i i want to know okay x1 plus x2 because the x1 and x2 both are the geometry random variable with a parameter of p so it's either p and q here right so in order to get the three here my idea is the the, the x1 it's possible to get something like uh, the x1 might be just 1 x1 might be just 1 and uh, the x2 itself x2 might be this x1 equals to 1 x2 might equals to 2 because 1 plus 2 is equals to 3 but over here I I want to show you something is um because some student might think um if x1 equals to 1 plus x2 equals to 2, will it equals to the probability x equals to 3 or not? All right, the short answer is no, it's, it's never. All right, it's because in uh, x equals to 1 in this topic we know is p. x equals to 2 is basically is a pq. But x equals to 3 is basically p square q. p plus pq is not equals to the p square q. So you from the uh, algebra itself, you should know they are not the same at all. Even though you factorize out the p is no nowhere get close to this one. Okay, or you, you want me to uh give you some example. Let's say p is equal to zero point three, q will be zero point seven. Then let's let's say we do when x equals to one, you will get zero point three. When x equals to two, you actually get uh p q right zero point two one. And x equals to 3, you will get um, 0 0.147. So if I draw out the table, you can see this one when x equals to, maybe I make it taller a little bit. This one when x equals to 1. When x equals to 2, it will become lower. x equals to 3, it will become even, even lower. Because the graph for the geometry distribution is always going down one in this pattern. In this pattern yeah supposedly if i draw nicely it should be something like this right so you can see 0 0.3 plus 0 0.21 it will never be equals to 0 0.147 so therefore first thing is yeah we want to cancel out this idea okay so yeah this idea is is not going to work okay then how are we going to do this question so i would think like this uh x1 plus x2 is something like I want 1 and 2 in order to get 3. So in probability topic, right, n we know basically is the multiply. So this one, probability x1 plus x2 is equals to 3. What I will do is I will assume the, or uh, this one is basically probability. Uh, I will write a short form, 1 and 2. x1 is basically 1 x2 is basically 2 or I can have something like probability 2 and 1 isn't it basically x1 is 2 and x2 uh, uh, x2 can be 1 because 1 and 2 we get 3 2 and 1 we actually get 3 so over here what I will do is I will use the probability 1 multiply probability 2 or mean plus a right? this one I will do probability 2 multiply probability of 1 so this one uh, probability x equals to 1, right? So we really did it just now. It's equal to p. And then multiply. 2 is actually pq. Yeah, you can see over here. It's basically pq for 2. So this is pq. Plus, this is pq. Multiply p. So this one is p square q plus p square q. So I will get 2p square q. All right, now I'll write shown. All right, then how about the part B. You see, if y1 and y2 both are geometry random variable, and they give us the parameter is 0 
So I know the y will be the geometry with the parameter of 0 0.3, which is the p value here, 0 0.3. Then of obviously q is 0 0.7. Then q will be 0 0.7. I write it down first. Okay, they asked us to find the y1 plus y2 bigger than 3. There's too many possibility y1 plus y2 equal, uh, bigger than 3. But what I want to do here is I'm not going to find what value will be bigger than 3, but in fact, I will use 1 to minus which is less or equals to 3. I will write y1 plus y2 less or equals to 3. So it's over here. I have to minus two part. One is when y1 plus y2 equals to 3, which is exactly the same thing at a part one. So later I can use this one to actually sub into here, which is 2p square q. And then still one, one more possibility, which is the y1 plus y2 equals to 2. Okay. And some student might ask, sir, why do not have the y1 plus y2 equals to 1 or 0? First thing is, in the geometry distribution, um, y cannot equal to 0. Okay, so y cannot equal to 0. It starts from 1. So, so it needs to start from at least 1. So 1 plus 1, minimum number you can get is 2. Obviously, in order to get 1, we must 1 plus 0. But since in the geometry distribution, 0 is not possible. So, so yeah, so therefore, we don't have 1 or 0 here. Even if it's less or equals 3, we only have two options, 3 and 2 only. Okay, then right now, I want to work out this one. This one, probability y1 plus y2 is equal to 2. Since we know both must be 1. So, and this one is 1 and 1. So this one is probability of 1, multiply probability of 1. x equals to 1 is p. P times P, this one will be P squared. So therefore, this one is 1 minus 2P squared Q minus P squared. All right, then I have my P and Q on the top there. P is 0 0.3 squared and Q is 0 0.7 minus 0 0.3 squared. So I just type everything in the calculator, then I will get my answer after that. 0 0.3 square multiplied 0 0.7 minus 0 0.3 square. So my final answer for this one will be 0 0.784. Yeah, I think this one is a little bit com complicated because even myself also uh, spent a lot of time to Google it, but eventually I still cannot uh, get any similar things uh, online. Anyone know this topic uh, better? Yeah, you feel free to share some idea on any better way or easier way on solving this kind of question at the comment section below. I will really appreciate your input. All right, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.